Welcome to Teacher Notes instructional video number 9 using Dropbox with Teacher Notes. Today we're going to look into how to back up our notes and media on Dropbox and then re-import it. Uh, just a few things to note before we get started. One, you need a Dropbox account in order to utilize this feature, so go get one if you don't have one. Number two, um, regular data rates apply, so you may want to um, be on a Wi-Fi connection when you do this. Uh, three, especially if this is your first time backing up your notes um, to Dropbox and you have a lot of pictures, movies, or audio, it could take quite a while and use up quite a lot of space on your Dropbox just because those files are large. So, you know, be aware. And number four, um, uh, once the data is on Dropbox, uh, you'll have complete access to it So uh, on your PC. So you can start making like a scrapbook with the pictures and maybe putting some audio and movies into your scrapbooks. Whatever you feel like doing for the year, from all the media you've taken in Teacher Notes. But one thing to be aware of is just copy the files out of uh, the Teacher Notes backup directory before you start modifying them because... Um, uh, if you start moving all those pictures out of the directory and then going back, you know, re-import your backup and the pictures aren't there, then those pictures won't be backed up necessarily. So uh, take that into account. If you have any, obviously, questions, you know, always email us. But let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to open up teacher notes here. And, you know, whatever. I just start out. So whatever, we're going to have a test class here. So we're going to hit our test class, and then we're going to go to our notes. As you can see, I have just four notes here because it's a test class. And I'm going to go like this. Um, here you can see I have some pictures. Very nice. So let's back this up onto Dropbox. So you're going to hit the cogwheel on the top right and import export menu. And you'll see that there is um, actually now a Dropbox functionality and I have it set to on. Uh, the first time you use this, it will say off there. Just hit that switch and you will be prompted to log into Dropbox with your username and password. Uh, so enter those two things, and you'll see these two um, menu options, export class to Dropbox, import class to Dropbox, they'll appear. Uh, so first off, we're going to export this class to Dropbox, the test class. So you tap export class to Dropbox, uh, and then your classes will appear here. You want to tap test class, and then it will just go into uh, uploading to Dropbox. As you can see, it's just uploading uh, our four pictures. It'll just take a second. Um, and while well, it's uploaded to Dropbox, like I said earlier, it's very nice because you uh, can go onto your PC or actually any PC and log on to your Dropbox account from uh, the internet and access uh, your backed up movies, pictures, audio from anywhere, really. So it's, uh, it's a nice feature. I'm enjoying it so far. And I hope you're going to enjoy it as well. Uh, as you can see, each file sort of tells you the progress in, uh, in the gray line, and then the blue line is your overall progress. And once you're done, you see it's done like this, so you can hit the Done button and uh, just cancel out. So now um, your data is backed up to Dropbox. Uh, so say you need to re-import it on your device or another device, so let's actually go ahead. We're going to delete this class. Okay, so now, oh, you know, you have a new iPad or something like that, you'll want to uh, import that class. So you hit the cogwheel, go to Import Export, and now you're going to click Import Class from Dropbox, and you're going to see a list of classes that are available to re-import. And we're going to hit Test Class. And again, it's a similar looking screen to the last one, except now we're actually downloading the uh, media onto your device here. So, okay, that was it's much quicker to download it than to upload it. So, uh, now we go in here, and you can see if I go here, tap here, and go like this, there's the picture. So, um, yeah, so we have a backup now on Dropbox. Um, if you want to find it, by the way, on your Dropbox, it's going to be in an app folder uh, in your Dropbox, and then an app, it's going to be in a folder called Teacher Notes. So, uh, again, if you have any questions, you know, let us know on our Facebook page, or just send us an email at iteachernotes at gmail.com. And we'll be happy to help you out. All right, well, hope you enjoy this.